Hello. So today we are going to discuss is about uh, data communication module five. Under that we have uh, three topics: wired, wireless, and cellular telephony. Obviously, so if you cover at least two topics, that module we can uh, fetch good marks. Okay. So under that I chose uh, cellular telephony, which is very very interesting. and uh, we can get to know about our mobiles how it is working and so on okay so under that uh, we have the concept called as cellular telephony so firstly we should know what is a cellular telephony cellular telephony is a designed to provide communication between two moving units called mobile station see obviously we know that before and all we used to uh, use land lines which is not movable after certain distance isn't it but after the concept of the mobile which is wireless and if you are taking the mobiles you can take it anywhere and that concept is nothing but called as a cellular telephony that gives you the communication for something which is moving it is not like restricted to one place so the communication between the moving units is called as mobile station communication between the two moving units so make it clear it is uh you have to provide some communication between the moving units so what if the moving thing is not movable then also it should give the communication irrespective of whether it is movable or immovable so and that we call it as mobile station hereafter we will uh, mention that as mss mobile stations mss okay so so two cases will be there one is one mobile is trying to con uh, communicate with one another mobile or uh, vice versa and one more case is one mobile is trying to contact to the landline okay now the landline thing whichever is there that uses the concept of land unit whereas the mobiles what we are uh, which is movable that uses the concept called as that moving unit is called as mobile stations for mobile it is mobile stations for landline it is land unit okay so calls has to be transferred to new base station when it goes out of the range see mobile station means for some particular range itself that mobile station can work okay so we have to choose or uh, it has to be transferred to the another mobile station suppose the person is moving from one area to another area for one area we will have one particular mobile station and for the next area when he is crossing might be that mobile station is out of the range and immediately without disturbing the communication it has to be transferred from first mobile station to the second mobile station without distracting or without changing the um, any issues okay uh, then uh, we have the concept called as that is called as in base station base station is nothing but uh it, it is uh, the one which we use it see we have two concepts one is mobile station one more is base station okay so what is this base station means this is the this is something like uh, uh it is covering the area okay under the area you have a small small mobile station uh, base station is the bigger one okay suppose if he is uh, moving from one state to another state let us say then uh, obviously the base station has to be changed that is the concept here so here is the scenario there is a phone okay a person tries to call so as soon as the phone he dials the number it will go to the pstn so that is nothing but public switched telephone network that we call it as a public switched telephone network from there it has to be moved to the mobile switching center that we call it as an msc okay from there it has to choose which mobile station it works for okay and uh, before going to mobile station it will go to the base station that base station will choose you which is the mobile station which is the nearest one which gives you without any attenuation or some noisy nothing no without any issues which can give you the best that will be decided by this base station so this is the concept of cellular system let me give the glimpse of it what i'm trying to tell is 
a person is dialing okay one person is trying to call as soon as he calls what generally happens is so it will go to the public switched telephone network it will go to the public switched uh, you can remember it as police station of tamil nadu something like that public switched telephone network from public switch telephone network you have to choose which one to go so that would be obviously it is a mobile switching center from mobile switching center you have to choose the base station it will be passed to the base station in the base station it will check for which is the best mobile station ms that whole thing base station with along with the mobile station what we have that whole group is called as a cell that will find you the best mobile stations so this is how it works okay so now let us move to the example suppose you just consider one car is moving from one place to the another place it is necessary to change the base station why because the it as we know that the networking is limited to the range of the distance right so if he is moving from one place to the another and uh, and we do if it is not in the range then obviously it is very much unnecessary to Uh, move from one place to the another place. Next, ah, uh, this is already we we saw that right. Ah, uh, that pick you just uh, ignore, okay. So now we have something called as a frequency range. Since there are limited frequency bands, they need to be reused, and no two near bands have same frequency. so we use something called called the concept of the frequency okay so uh, meaning if one mobile one person is calling through the mobile doesn't mean that one more person should not call the other person because this person is using the channels we can't tell like that right we have to provide the service to the everyone equally so in order to achieve that we will use the frequency range for that frequency range what we do is we use the different kind of frequency bandwidth and that bandwidth that band should be should not be same S suppose if i am using the four different we have reuse factor 4 reuse factor 7 and so on so how we can write this one is as simple as that let me explain you see if it is four the four within this four uh, cells it should not be repeated for the adjacent one see start from the down 1 2 3 4 okay 1 2 so again you can't write here 1 2 okay we should not be adjacent you can write 3 4 and uh, so here you can write 2 1 something you just do the permutation combination and get it out done and uh, so this is the nothing but the reuse factor of 4 then we have the concept called as reuse factor of 7 that also we can use so how you can write is just uh, see you put Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven boxes. You put just like a flower. Start with one. Fill and come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like uh, three, three sets. You if you give, then uh, that we call it as an um, reuse factor of seven. Why we need? Because we need to give the service for all the mobiles, irrespective of whether it is a first one mobile or thousand mobiles. In order to give the smooth channeling or smooth communication, we we need the frequency bandwidth, and for that we have two types. One is the reuse factor of four, and one more is the reuse factor of seven. And these two concepts comes under the concept of the frequency range. Okay, so next thing is firstly we should know how the transmission takes place, right? So as soon as uh, see if, if a person X is calling, uh, makes a call, dials the number, it goes to the mobile station. That mobile stations will transfer to the cell. Cell is nothing but it is a combination of the base station and the many number of the mobile station. That base station will choose which is the best mobile station for this particular uh, frequency. The mobile station is chosen. and from there the uh, signal will pass and the person will uh, that will reach to the receiver this we call it as transmitting concept this is how it works okay so this is also very interesting concept that you should know so another concept of uh, what we have to uh, talk about is hand off and uh, roaming okay so hand off and roaming means it's nothing but uh if you are using in locally that is called as an handoff 
and uh, if you are going state to state or country to country or worldwide then that we call it as an roaming okay so handoff is a local use same country or the same state roaming means a different country now uh, so, okay so see let's say the car is traveling this is the car uh, uh, just uh, tolerate with my drawings okay so this is a car that is moving from the one place to another place so if he is moving from right side to left side okay at one point of time the base station is losing its uh, range okay it is not able to give the particular uh, uh, range or frequency so that uh, uh, that signal is not passed properly in that worst case the line will be broken here that is what we have crossed here and given us line break and it will get try to get connect with the new base station okay so this concept is called as an roaming or a line breaking or whatever it is okay so that is the concept of handoff and roaming so nextly 